This video will cover final fitting on wood frames. The first thing you need to do before starting on any project is to assemble the tools you will need. We recommend always having a brush to clean off the work surface. To attach the hanging devices, we recommend an electric drill. If you don't have one, you can use an awl to start the hole and a Phillips head screwdriver. You will need a wire cutter. A mat knife is used to trim the dust covered tape. The pencil and measuring tape is used to determine the placement of the hanging devices. After assembling all of your tools, you assemble all of the materials you will need. To do the final fitting on the framed artwork package, you will need strap hangers, wire, a dust cover tape, and bumpers. We recommend using strap hangers because they are stronger and do not protrude from the back of the frame. This can be especially important when pictures are being transported for exhibitions. Before attaching the hanging devices, turn over the picture to be sure you know which side is the top of the frame. You are now ready to measure the frame to determine where the hanging device should be installed. We recommend putting the hanging device one-third of the way down from the top of the frame. In this case, the overall measurement is 18 inches, Therefore, we measure down one-third of the distance from the top, or six inches, and then mark the frame. We do the same thing on the other side. We then take the strap hanger and place it where it is marked on the frame. angling the loop towards the top of the frame and it should overhang the strainer to make attaching the wire easier. You then use a drill or a screwdriver with a Phillips head to install the screws. Repeat the process on the other side of the frame. You are now ready to attach the wire to the strap hangers. Run the wire through the loop on the strap hanger and then a second time so there is at least two loops. Then twist the wire around itself so it is secure. Once the wire is attached to the first strap hanger, place it through the second one. The top of the wire should be about one third of the way from the top of the hanging devices. In this example, the hanging devices are six inches from the top. Therefore, the top of the wire should be one third of that distance or two inches from the top of the frame. Pull the wire tight to be sure it's the right distance Then loop the wire one more time through the second strap hanger and pull it tight. You then twist the wire to make sure it is secure. Snip off any excess wire. and continue twisting until the wire is secure against itself. After you finish putting the wire on, pull it firmly from the top to remove any kinks. We next apply the dust cover tape. The rationale for dust covers is to keep dust from migrating into the front of the art package. The only area that needs covering is the space between the frame and the strainer. 
If the frame is going to be used for an exhibition and then reused, the dust cover tape is not essential. First tear off the release paper and attach it to the frame. Press down firmly to make sure it is on securely. It will be faster to apply if the tape is cut the approximate size of the frame before you begin the project. After it is applied, you can cut off any excess with a mat knife or a razor blade. Continue the process on each side of the frame, trimming when necessary. The traditional way used by most picture framers is to seal the back of the frame with craft paper. The advantage is that it gives a finished look. The disadvantage is that it often tears and the paper is not archival. Tapes are available in acid-free and regular versions. The final step is to put bumpers on the bottom corners to help keep the frame level on the wall. Just peel the bumper off the sheet and place it on the highest part of the bottom of each corner of the frame. 